prior to Metro updating its use of force policy, there were at least two high profile controversial deaths in their custody. In 2017, Tashi Farmer died after a Metro officer put him in a chokehold outside the Venetian. The officer, Kenneth Lepera, was originally charged in this case. But the DA didn't proceed with the case and he was cleared. Authorities say while the officer didn't follow policy, they did not believe he had any intent to kill Farmer. They also say that there was no probable cause that the chokehold actually caused the death. And most recently, 50-year-old Byron Lee Williams died in Metro custody last September. Now, Williams told police he couldn't breathe a total of 17 times. Officers say Williams was riding a bike without lights. He ran and officers cuffed him. It was ruled his death was caused by meth intoxication, a heart condition and prone restraint, which is holding someone to the ground. Reports from Metro's force investigation team and Office of Internal Oversight are still pending in this case. The DA says criminal prosecution in the case was not appropriate.